So I know pen pressure. Hi there. So assuming everything is plugged in, even though it should be wireless and your tablet is still functioning properly, the most reason as to why you don't have pen pressure is software incompatibility. So first of all, make sure like the cable thingy is in the tablet thingy and in the computer thingy. That's important. Let's get that out of the way. So most common pen pressure losses occur after an operating system update. Note that Photoshop also shows you if you have pen pressure or not. Make sure you didn't turn it off accidentally. So here it is, this menu here and it should have pen pressure selected. Make sure it's not off or something else. And normally this is how it should look. Um, so with pen pressure, without pen pressure, you can see it gets thinner here, then it gets thicker and so on. Well, this one without pen pressure is just like if you did it with a mouse. Note that if it's thin like this and it's still coming out uh, thick like that means you don't have pen pressure. I'm now using my mouse to show the difference. And with my stylus. So you see, that is how it should be. Uh, and other programs can be a bit deceptive, like here in Clip Studio Paint, it shows again thin. And you don't have that option like in uh, Photoshop to see the difference. So depending on what program you have and what options you have, things can be different. I think uh, Photoshop is great at showing you if you have or not. It would be great if every program had that. So now the way you can fix this is by updating your computer drivers. So th these thingies here are in Windows. If you're using something else, it's going to look different. Uh, your tablet drivers, so in the case of my producer, I have a Wacom tablet. It should show me stuff here in updates. If it's not, then I can go to their website. I can select my model. It says 2017. My tablet is older than this, but this is like the model that they're showing. And then I'm going to go to download Windows driver, download that, go to my folder where it's downloaded, install it, and then hopefully it should work. And of course, you can update your graphics software. So for example, in the case of Clip Studio Paint, I go to their website, I download again the version for Windows, I reinstall that, and hopefully it works with pen pressure. Now, after all you've done all of this stuff and it's still not working, the last resort is to email your producer, because if the issue persists after all of this stuff, um, the, comp the issue might be a bit complicated, so you can contact the manufacturer and see what they say. Uh, in my case, I emailed Wacom and asked for a better version of their driver update as I was on a deadline for a client. And I couldn't wait a day or two for it to be made public. Um, all producers should, in theory, um, put out driver updates as soon as Windows um, makes them public and updates your computer. Um, ideally, they would communicate with Microsoft. If they're a smaller company, um, they might not. But you can always try and ask for uh, a better version that hasn't been public yet. Now, um, that fixed it for me back in the day, but in recent years, however, uh, Wacom has gone down in service promptitude and I don't know if I'm gonna buy Wacom again They're very expensive and if I'm not getting the customer service I need what's the point of paying the extra money? Also as for paint storm and clip studio paint they have ongoing issues They have yet to fix and such issues may just be out of your control You can always double check to see if you have pen pressure in another art program, but you don't in your current one for example I am at the moment experiencing some issues only in Clip Studio Paint with my stylus. It's nagging. It's just something that is not working in Clip Studio Paint anymore. It's working in Photoshop, so I'm just using at the moment Photoshop, even though I prefer some features in Clip Studio Paint. And until you find a solution, that might just be it. You <laughs> use another program that is working better than your preferred program. 
so yeah sorry i don't have any more uh good news like i said you can try all the other things i've told you before like updating stuff checking out forums as well uh, my best guess is you can try and email your producer write them a very nicely worded polite uh, email hoping that whoever's on the customer end side will bother to answer you and actually be useful and so yeah thank you for watching cheers and good luck um, and if you found this video useful please leave a like and subscribe to help me out if no uh, let me know how I can do better. If there's anything I missed, please leave it a comment below to others to help them as well. Take care, everyone. Bye-bye.